Good morning, everyone, and thank you for that warm introduction. Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. C'est un grand plaisir d'être avec vous ce matin. Thank you for joining us. Uh, let me start by thanking Bloomberg for hosting this conference now in its seventh year. I also want to recognize, of course, the National Bank for their generous sponsorship, and I also want to give a very special uh, personal thank you to Paul Podesky, who is in this room, I'm sure. Paul, you're somewhere. Uh, who is really um, a friend of Canada, um, a great Canadian, and a wonderful uh, sponsor of this event and many others we've worked together on. And of course, Aniqua Point, who is the person we uh, will treasure as, as Paul moves on. So thank you very much for your help over the years. Um, as the only conference in New York that offers such an in-depth look at the Canadian economy, this really is an important and unique event. And as you all know, it's not easy to be one of a kind in a city like this. This conference also has particular meaning for me because as you heard, it is where I delivered my very first public speech as Consul General three years ago. And it seems like yesterday, but of course, uh, as you heard, both NAFTA and many other things have happened in the world since then. Uh, it's an honor to be able to serve your country and particularly for me to represent Canada, particularly in a magical city like New York and appropriately for this conference, the financial center of the world. I always say Amer uh, New Yorkers tell you that they live in the center of the universe and the reason they say that is because they do. Um, and while people around me keep pointing out that diplomats usually do everything they can to stay in New York as long as possible, I have uh, chosen to leave my tour of duty at the end of December after three and a half really incredible years here. I, uh, I'm good with this because as uh, I see it, once a New Yorker, always a New Yorker. Um, the great American writer and journalist Tom Wolfe said, one belongs to New York instantly, one belongs to it as much in five minutes as in five years. For me, New York has always represented the strength of America, the resilience of Americans, and the greatness of the Canada-US relationship. The conference, this conference, is an opportunity to hear from so many experts in Canada's uh, economic and market outlook, the housing market, uh, infrastructure and the energy sector. We'll also benefit from insight of finance ministers of Ontario, Manitoba, and Quebec. You may have noticed that we are living in especially interesting times, especially when it comes to international trade, intensifying trade tensions, and growing evidence of a global manufacturing slowdown. They're having effects from factory floors to trading floors, and of course, across many households. However, in the midst of all of this turbulence, Canada is doing well and maintaining its commitment and history of being a trading nation. Both exports and imports rose in 2018, reaching a record high of $1.5 trillion <coughs> combined. So as you will hear today, the Canadian economy is resilient and diversified and is supported by solid fundamentals, including ongoing strength in the labor market and healthy consumer confidence. Most notably, the Canadian economy added a stronger than expected 53,700 net jobs in September with all the gains coming in full-time work. The unemployment rate is at its lowest levels in more than four decades, and wage growth has picked up recently. Canada is also home to one of the world's soundest banking systems. We have the lowest net debt to GDP ratio in the G7, and a stable AAA credit rating. Canada is a great place to do business and a welcoming place for foreign investment. In my role as Consul General, I have taken great pride in promoting Canada and fostering the Canada-US partnership. I constantly remind people on both sides of the border just how special our relationship is. And I have a suspicion that this will carry on for a very long time. This is probably one of the most important lessons I learned as Consul General, no matter how close, how similar, or how friendly two nations are. Successful bilateral relations demand big ideas, hard work, and constant engagement. This is precisely what today is about. 
talking about just how closely we are linked, defining together the challenges and the opportunities that lie ahead, and charting a joint path to generate greater prosperity in both our countries. Ladies and gentlemen, I wish you a great day. Thank you.